In the first week of August, we went on our first family vacation on Tangaroa. We had the kids, the dogs, and one of Izzy's friends, and we headed north to Desolation Sound. First stop, we really wanted to see Chatterbox Falls, because great friends of ours, Keith and Suzanne, had told us all about it, and I was jealous of their pictures. Well, we left our anchorage the night before a little bit late. Of course, we slept in a little bit and arrived at Malibu Rapids way too early. Looking at the chart, we were in for quite a ride with Tangaroa, so we decided to send the tender through first to see exactly what the rapids were like. You can actually see the height difference in the water from out here to in there. Yeah, so we're gonna bring our 78 foot boat through here, but not right now. I think we're gonna have to wait a little bit. She's pretty narrow. But you can totally see the height difference. I can see why they say wait till slack tight. I put right in the middle there. Is that like a whirlpool? That's where water is running over rocks there. Go to your right, Dennis. Holy cow, look at that. Lots of whirlpools pushing the tender around. I'm glad we came and scoped this out first. Holy crow. So you still want to go through on the boat right now? <laughs> Woohoo! Here we go, we're getting pushed through. Yeah, it is not the time to take the boat through here yet. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely see why they wait for slack tide. Yeah, but I gotta just come swashing in over here. We'd be pushed all around here. Yeah, you definitely don't want to come through here with the yacht right now, or with the big boat. Even with powerful engines. Uh-uh. We'd be pushed into the rocks. So, we're going to go hang outside till slack tide, which is in about three hours. And go find a place to take the dogs to shore. hanging outside for about three hours and driving around in circles and letting the kids go crazy on the tender and take the dogs to shore it was time to take on Malibu Rapids. Josh went through first in the tender to get some video. I remember going through this before. He was an engineer on that boat. Now he gets to captain it through.
Oh, crap. Nothing like drifting a 78-foot boat through Malibu Rapids. bringing Tangaroa through Malibu Rapids. <laughs> you can see us just swinging. I wish you could feel this right now because our back end is swinging right around with these whirlpools. And we're a 78 foot aluminum boat. So smaller boats, do not try this unless you're total slack tied. And we did it, Princess Louisa. Check out that cool bald eagle right there. Look at that bald eagle right there. And look, bald eagle right welcoming us right there on the tree. Welcome to Princess Louisa. Now we're going to head to Chatterbox Falls. We spent an awesome two nights at Chatterbox Falls, which included kayaking, a rope swing, hiking, piling rocks. And of course a little bit of tubing and I even got some varnishing in and cleaned the bottom of the boat. We all could have stayed a week at Chatterbox Falls, but we headed north to meet Krista and Dave on our time in Desolation Sound. Okay, now we are going southbound through Malibu Rapids. We just spent a lovely two days up in Princess Louisa. You can tell I've been doing some varnish. But here we go, we waited for slack tide, so hopefully we've timed this correctly. We're not even gonna send Josh through first on the tender, we're just gonna go for it. Right, Blaine? Right.
We can't wait to return to Chatterbox Falls. And really, Malibu Rapids was fun. I highly recommend waiting to slack tide and really timing coming up Jarvis Inlet so that you don't have to hang outside for three hours. But it was totally worth it. And really, I wish we had stayed at Chatterbox Falls for the whole week. Join us next time with our time in Tangaroa head to Sydney Spit. There we celebrate our birthdays, do some hikes, and of course, eat a heck of a lot of crab.